I get a little frustrated when I hear people say, all student athletes have to do is play their sport and go to school. And, and that couldn't be further from the truth. They are 24-hour athletes. They're working around the clock to refine their skills, make sure their body is in shape, make sure they're mentally on par. So there's a lot that goes into the preparation for a student athlete's mental health. Our student athletes, not just football, but all our student athletes go through so many things. The pressures and the expectations of their coaches, their family, their peers, their people back home. None of our student athletes want to lose, you know, and when we don't perform well, we're just as mad at ourselves than any fan or, you know, anyone on social media. Traditionally, men have a lot of trouble opening up and being vulnerable to get help. When Coach Shatters came in from Georgia, he came equipped with a mental health binder. So as your mental health practitioner, I was in wow. You know, the biggest thing uh, coming in, being new, uh, kind of evolving ourselves is we want to train the mind just as much as we want to train the body. You know, that's what's so beautiful about a team is there's so many different guys from different backgrounds with different perspectives, but we all want the same common goal. If you don't really know that person next to you, and you don't really know your brother, how can you really, how can you really go that extra, extra step for him? You know, everybody kind of has their own uh, way of doing mental training or incorporating something to be mentally tough as a team. For us, I think it was kind of, you know, knocking some walls down and really sitting back and being vulnerable and opening up to each other. We would have groups in a large setting, we'd meet as a team, and then we'd also break out and do smaller groups. What we noticed is guys are more willing to share when it's a little bit more of a smaller environment. And the turnout has been unbelievable. To do the small groups, to get those guys that we usually struggle with to touch um, on a mental health basis, big tough football players, to get them to sit down and open up, man, that's, that's a gem right there. Being able to set the bar with what is mental training and then also talking about our why, right? And diving a little bit deeper in, you know, what, what makes you do what you do. Right like we left off every time, we always talk about our, our why. Peeling back those layers and talking about that type of the stuff with our guys, I think helps understand that everyone is different, but everybody is pretty similar too on, on why they why they do what they do. That makes our job in the mental health department much easier if it's being driven by staff, if they're having the conversations. Then when it escalates to a clinical point, then they can hand it off to us. But having them do the in the trenches, the front end is, I mean, it's priceless.